Now let's see the features of the cellular concept. Its first feature is frequency reuse. In frequency reuse, same set of frequencies are used for radio channels located in different areas. As shown in the diagram below, every cell named as A uses the same set of frequencies. The advantages of frequency reuse are many transmitters of small output power operating at the same frequency can be used. It reduces the minimum height of the transmitting antenna as each antenna has to cover a small distance. But the disadvantage is that if the system is not properly designed, then it may lead to co-channel interference. Co-channel interference is a phenomenon in which two frequency signals of adjacent channels interfere with each other. The second feature of the cellular concept is cell splitting. In cell splitting technique, each cell is divided into smaller cells known as microcells. The radius of these small cells is half of the original radius. Cell splitting technique proves advantages when the traffic of cell phone users increases beyond the limit of a regular cell. Let's see what do we mean by a handoff procedure. Consider a situation where we are traveling from place A to place B via a car. Sometimes it happens that for a short period of 2 or 3 seconds, the signal strength on mobiles becomes very low and again it increases and reaches its normal level. Have you ever thought why this happens? The answer to this question is the handoff procedure. When someone, user X, travels in area A, he receives the signal from base station A. That is, Antenna A has a strong hold on out devices signal. But as he moves away from Antenna A, the signal strength gradually decreases. At a boundary of cell A, the hold of Antenna A on the device is minimum. At the same time when the device is about to enter into cell B, base station B starts to take hold on the device. Thus, at the border of cell A and cell B, both the antennas have equal amount of hold on the device of user X. As user X crosses the border and enters into cell B, area B, strength of base station A very rapidly decreases and strength of base station B rapidly increases. In short, the device receives the signal network from base station B. But during this procedure, the call is still on. Hence, base station A handovers this call to base station B without any effect on a call. This procedure is known as the handoff procedure. This process happens so rapidly that the user never notices it. 